Jesus saith unto them, My meat is to do the will of him that sent me, and to finish his work. John 4, verse 34. Never was there such an evangelist as Christ. He was the majesty of heaven, but he humbled himself to take our nature, that he might meet men where they are. To all people, rich and poor, free and bond, Christ, the messenger of the covenant, brought the tidings of salvation. His fame as the great healer spread throughout Palestine. The sick came to the places through which he would pass that they might call on him for help. Hitherto came many anxious to hear his words and to receive a touch of his hand. Thus he went from city to city, from town to town, preaching the gospel and healing the sick. The king of glory in the lowly garb of humanity. He attended the great yearly festivals of the nation, and to the multitude absorbed in outward ceremony, he spoke of heavenly things, bringing eternity within their view. To all he brought treasures from the storehouse of wisdom. He spoke to them in language so simple that they could not fail of understanding. By methods peculiarly his own, he helped all who were in sorrow and affliction. With tender, courteous grace, he ministered to the sin-sick soul, bringing healing and strength. Consider the life of Christ. Standing at the head of humanity, serving his Father, he is an example of what every son should and may be. The obedience that Christ rendered, God requires from human beings today. He served his Father with love, in willingness, and freedom. Christ counts no service too great, no toil too hard in order to accomplish the work which he came to do.